what's up you guys after your reaction today i'm going to be reacting to some more of the walking dead this is season three episode 13 let's get into the episode what's going on here where are we and what are we doing Daughter is. There's a little bit of the devil in me. <laughs> Did Andrea set this shit up? I don't know. If you attacked us, these things pretty clear. I was trying to make things clear. I could have killed you all. I didn't. I'm sure you could, sure. And here we are. I'm gonna remove my weapon. So that I mean to negotiate in good faith. I'd like you to do the same. May I? I ain't doing shit. In fact, I'm gonna pick up your weapon. No trouble. Now you. No. Just shoot. <laughs> You'd be good. <laughs> shoot yourself. Rick's not that stupid. He's already in there. Just sat down with Rick. I don't see any cars. I don't feel right. Keep it running. Heads up. Why is your boy already in there? He's here? Yep. <sighs> What's going on? Nothing. Friend is much of small talk. Well, you want to talk? Talking about the most famous to chess tournament that they've had in their lives. I don't know. Let's end this. Save the bullets for the real threat. We can solve this. That's why I asked you to come here. I know what you've done. I heard about the raids, the heads. Maggie. Merle did that. No. Uh. You know what I'm talking about. You know all about me and I know all about you. I don't care about any of that. We're here to move forward. Eh, what? He did to Maggie out on the... He had the dirty laundry. Go on. Maybe I should go inside. The governor thought it best if he and Rick spoke privately. Who the hell are you? Andrew is there. Manor. Great. You brought his butler. <laughs> I'm his advisor. What kind of advice? Planning, fighters. Uh, you know, I'm sorry. I don't feel like I need to explain myself to the henchmen. Better watch your mouth, sunshine. Look, if you and I are gonna be out here pointing guns at each other all day, do me a favor. Shut your mouth. Um, how do you speak to Daryl that way? Down in there, we'll be at each other's throats soon enough. What we should be doing is loading some of this firepower in a truck and paying a visit to the governor. We know where he is right now. You suggesting that we just go in and kill him? Yeah, I am. I mean, to be fair, I'm with Merle here. <laughs> put. I've changed my mind, sweetheart. Being on the sideline with my brother out there ain't sitting right with me. Three of them are right in the middle of it. No idea we're coming. They could get taken hostage or killed. A thousand things could go wrong. And they will. My dad can take care of himself. Sorry, son, but your dad's head could be on a pipe real soon. Don't say that to him. It's not the right move. Not now. Can't take the risk of putting them in a crossfire. It's my decision. It's final. Woodbury takes west to the river. Prison takes east. No one crosses. No one trades. He's right. We should hammer out boundaries, then leave each other. I'm sorry, what is this? It's a solution. Absolutely not. You told me. Told him what? You told me he was willing to talk. I am. The truth is, Rick, she's in no position to make such an offer anyway. I'm here for one thing only. Your surrender. Oh, you want surrender? Come get it. You think we hit Woodbury heavy last time? Just take it easy, all right? We're here to settle this. Would you step outside? What? Rick and I, we got a lot to talk about. I'm not leaving. I came to talk to him. Andrea, you're an idiot. You know, if I don't say it once an episode, it's not a Walking Dead episode, so what ifs? She's just not cool enough to play with the big boys. Why did Herschel come, by the so way? So you're the governor. He's crippled. That's like, that's... that's and he's problem. the doctor. Like, he shouldn't have gone. But still, you're beholden to your people. Well, of course. You have responsibility to them. Mm -hmm. Wasn't Merle 
You're a lieutenant. He was helpful, yeah. But you knew he was erratic. You blame him for scooping up Glenn and Maggie in the first place? Exactly. I was trying to sort it out when you attacked. So trying to sort it out. He's a wild card, but he's effective. He gets the dirty jobs done. That's what you call what you did to Maggie? Responsibility. I thought you were a cop, not a lawyer. Either way, I don't pretend to be a governor. I told you I'm the leader. You're the town drunk who knocked over my fence and ripped up my yard. Nothing more. Didn't you ever misjudge someone? Andrew told me about your baby. That it might be your partner's. But you're caring for her, and I admire that. Oh my god. Andrea, keep your fucking mouth shut. Failing to see the devil beside you. Oh, I see him all right. <laughs> We're gonna work it out. I mean, nobody wants another battle. Is that they call it a battle? I would call it a battle, and I did. I recorded it. For what? Somebody's gotta keep a record of what we've gone through. It'll be a part of our history. That makes sense. I've got dozens of inf Yeah. Woodbury doesn't have a TV show. So. Man, I'm talking of tonight. <laughs> To you. Hi. You first. Pussy. How do you do that much damage with a baseball bat? I'm just wondering. For a friend. Douchebag. You army or something? Nah, I just... Just hate these things. After what they did. Wife. Kids. Sucks. Yeah, this is a joke, right? I gotta work anything out. I'm sure they'll do their little dance and tomorrow. Next day, they'll give the word. I know. Okay. May I ask how you lost your leg? I was a bit. You cut off your leg to keep the infection from spreading. Interesting. How long after the initial bite? Immediately. You didn't bleed out? We have good people. They took care of me. Doctors? No. We learned by trial and error. Me too. May I see it? Your stump, I'd like to, um... <clears throat> At least buy me a drink first. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you might be into it. I care about my people and I don't take their deaths like Okay, so he just moved away from his gun. In a way, this is uh, this fight. It's a failure of leadership. Well, then leave this alone. Wow, well, now that, that would be an even bigger failure. You moved into our backyard, you shot up Main Street. If I let that threat persist, I look weak and well, the whole thing crumbles. Well, that's your problem, your choice. Now, isn't that why we're here? Choice. If we choose to destroy everything we've fought for over the past year, we're gonna kill everyone we know at your prison, back in Woodbury, people we love, Rick. I was at work one day, taking shit from a boss half my age and an IQ even lower, and the phone rang. My wife had been in an accident. Sorry, Mr. Blake, we did everything we could. And I sat there, holding that phone, knowing that I would never see her again. Gone. It's just an accident. No one's fault. She'd left a voicemail asking me to call her, but I hadn't had the chance yet. I sat there clutching that phone, thinking, what did she want? Just to check in. Asked me to pick something up for dinner. I have no sympathy for you after what you did to Maggie. I'm sorry. What did she want? She'd be rolling over in her grave, knowing the things you've done. Hey, you're not going. I don't need permission. I can't let you. You can't stop me. If you're gonna live here with us, it's gonna be on our terms. If Michonne can do it, why can't you? Cause it's my brother out there, that's why. What's the matter with y'all? I'm not gonna let you put them in danger. Not up already, boy. Sky cops are feeling of your woman. And you pussy out like this. Get out of my way. No. 
perfectly killed here this episode. How's it going in there? They kicked me out. I don't know what I'm doing here. You're trying to help. What happened with Maggie? He's a sick man. What am I gonna do now? I'm glad she asked. I can't go back there. We're family. You belong with us. But if you join us, it's settled. I know. This fight, it will go down to the last man. So let's end it today. Let's not do this. We can walk away. You have something that I want. One thing that makes this all all right. Well, I'm not giving up the prison. No, I, I, uh, I don't want your prison. That doesn't sound safe at all. I mean, you lost your wife, another man. We're not moving on. What good would that do me? Best you stay where I can keep my one good eye on you. You can say who you want, Michonne. I want Michonne. Mm. Turn her over and this all goes away. Is she worth it? One woman worth all those lives in your prison. Is she? It's hell of a chokehold. I said I put him to sleep. <laughs> when we got back from Woodbury, I made it all about me. And you needed your space, and I didn't give you that. Oh, I didn't need my space from you. I wanted you to see me. I'm with you. I'm always with you. You know. I'm sorry. Mm. I love you. I love you. Mm. I can't do this. We got big plans. Like you're the guy who's gonna lick this thing, bring us back from the brink. So why waste your time on a two-bit vendetta? Why risk it all? You could have a statue of yourself in the town square. Governor, killing Michonne, sort of beneath you, don't you think? You could save your son, save your daughter, everyone you know. It's your choice. I give you Michonne. How do I know you'll keep your word? you'll stop you can have everything you want i told you i don't care about you you think about it two days i'll be here at noon <laughs> how would you expect anything else Position gunman all around that feed store. The minute you see Michonne, you open fire. Kill the others, but you keep her alive. What about the deal? Oh, they'll bring Rick, Merle's brother, maybe Glenn, Merle himself. You can take care of the whole crew. The best way to avoid a slaughter. That is a slaughter. Not at our end. We're gonna have to eliminate Rick sooner or later. The way we can all live side by side. Setting that up really put yourself out there. Glad I could help. Rick and I set terms. He's gonna consider them and then we'll uh, meet again in two days. What sort of terms? <laughs> Hope it works out. So I met this governor. Sat with him for quite a while. Just the two of you? Should have gone when we had the chance, bro. He wants the prison. He wants us gone. Dead. He wants us dead. For what we did to Woodbury, we're going to war. I'm glad he's not even considering it. I'm not even entertaining the idea. 
groups taking it as well as can be expected. Merle and Michonne are convinced we should hit first. Carol and I think we should take our chances on the road. We're in this together. So if we stay and fight, so be it. He gave me a choice, a way out. What does he want? Michonne. He'll kill her. He didn't kill us anyway. What if he doesn't? What if this is the answer? Uh. Why didn't you tell them? They need to be scared. They are. Good. If that's the only way they'll accept it. She saved my life. Carl's. Glenn, Maggie. If she hadn't come here, we never would have known they were taken. She's earned her place. Yeah. Yes, she has. Are you willing to sacrifice your daughter's lives for her? Oh, I don't like this. Why are you telling me? Because I'm hoping you can talk me out of it. Talk him out of it. You shouldn't be entertaining the idea. You're not this stupid. Hey, what's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content, like this very edit, for example, uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel, and in return, you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below, and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Ah! Right, uh, well, that was The Walking Dead Season 3, Episode 13. It looks like the guy, like, oh, I don't know what his name is, nerdy guy, I don't know. It looks like he might buckle under the pressure, maybe tell Andrea, maybe Andrea will actually do something. Oh, why do I still have hope for this character? Oh. I just don't want. Ugh, I don't like the idea of like betraying Mich Michonne. Like I'm not gonna like pretend like I don't know that Michonne is okay. You know, like she's gonna be okay. Um, but like just the like comprehension of Rick betraying her. I don't know. I don't know. How do you get anywhere from that? Um. I'm glad Glenn and Maggie, you know, made up. I don't know if I need to see a full sex scene, but whatever. Um, should have just killed him while you're in the barn or whatever it was. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,